Okay, so from here on in, we're going to start working with some of the different regions that we've got. We've got our basic plan, and now we've got a number of different regions here. Um, we've got our main building site here in the middle. We've got roads that are going to be relayed. Um, we've also got train tracks, if you want to include train tracks, a park area, and various buildings. So if we come over here to our massing and site, you'll see now that we've got a couple of things that we can include. So if you want, you can include um, you can include components where you can um, load components from um, the family on the inter on the files. So you'll have things like trees, park benches, um, all sorts of stuff. And then you'll also have things like um, you can also include bring in buildings that you've designed on another Revit file and drop them in where they need to be. So say for example, if I go and design this area here, how can I actually design that and then just drop it in so that I've got a separate topo, topo file and a separate building file. Um, there's also things there for parking components um, where you can you know, designate parking space, um, a building pad so where you can draw out your building pad and basically it creates a flat surface for the buildings to be um, drawn on. So that's probably the first thing that we should look at. Now my computer isn't all that fantastic but basically I'm going to select the line option here tool and I'm going to draw actually a rather large building pad. Um, you guys should do this as accurately as possible um, but basically my computer won't let me do this. So, this comes out over to here. My computer very nearly crashed there. Bring this up. And it's very important that this is what's called a closed loop, meaning that um, each point adds on to the end point of the last point and basically it's there's no gaps between these lines so if I select OK as soon as my mouse works and if I come over here to my bird's eye view I can now see that that is a building pad that I can just drop that on because in real life something like that would be leveled out and you could put your building on a flat surface so we're also going to have um, within the massing in sight. No, no. Yeah, so that's that's okay. So um, we're also going to create subregions. So subregions can be things like roads, and basically we've got a couple of different subregions. So we've got these roads along here all the way basically around that surface. Um, so I'm going to do one of them and you guys can do your own at a later point. You can also do things like rivers, parks, um, building plots, that kind of stuff. So if I take that, um, I can also um, have like a tangent end car arc or a fillet arc if I want to. Um, so I'm going to just continue on with straight lines for the moment here and I can fillet that later on and come up with a not as sharp edge. So you can see that my laptop is not very fast and actually the cursor cannot keep up with what I am asking it to do. up to 
here and download and it's going to take a few moments so I've just done part of that you know you guys should do this in a much higher resolution you should look for it to be much higher quality but this serves just to show you the basics and again you want this to be a closed loop and you want to have one of these for each distinct region of the shape um, truth be told this should actually go all the way up and this should all be one distinct region um, if you want to use a fillet arc there to maybe make some of the edges maybe a bit um, not as sharp or whatever you can use that um, but I'm just going to click OK here and so now I've got a building pad I've got this bit of a road that I've inserted here and I've got my topo so Mm, does that look right? Ah. Okay, so I didn't include all of that road because I had it zoomed out. But you guys can edit that to make it even better if you like. Um, so uh, you'll see here, anyways, that's the road area, that's the building pad. And maybe I now, now want to start maybe making this look colourful as it were 